Buenos dias, this is Kai Pacha with the weekly Pele Report. I'm not fooling around on this one. Yes, I am in a city park. I have not scoped it out. I could run into anybody. It's a couple of days before Christmas and the whole place is nuts with everybody shopping, but we'll see how it goes. It's a beautiful park here. Now, what's, what's up astrologically? Well, you know, we've got still you know, the, the moon as of today, the 23rd, is moving out of Capricorn into Aquarius. So we've just got Mercury, Venus, the Sun, and Pluto still in Capricorn, <laughs> which I will get to. And that moon is going around. It's going to be in Aquarius, really, uh, up until Thursday. She goes into Pisces. And then on Saturday, she goes into Aries and we come into our first quarter square, as you can see in the chart that I put with the Pele Report, yeah? We have that first quarter square at seven degrees of Aries to Capricorn. And then besides that, then she goes into, she actually stays in Aries until Tuesday, goes into Taurus. So, Mercury and Venus are traveling together through Capricorn. If you actually look at the heliocentric position, we have uh, an, a direct alignment between Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter, and the Sun. You can draw a straight line, yeah, right between these, uh, so it's a planetary line up there. But that is, the, like I say, the heliocentric. From the Earth perspective, the other big thing that we want to look at today is that Saturn goes into Sagittarius. Dun, 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 dun. Since October of 2012, our good friend Saturn has been in the sign of Scorpio, really ripping up the underworld, giving us all some major headaches around our sexuality, relationships, both sexual and financial. And uh, it's moving out, moving on, moving up. The phoenix rising from the ashes is the way that I've looked at it. And you know, the thing is that it goes there and it, it, and it goes right up to four degrees, 55 minutes or so of Sagittarius. And in March, it goes retrograde, goes back into Scorpio in the middle of June and then goes direct. And it's really officially in the sign of Sagittarius by September 17th. So... You know, it's kind of back and forth on the cusp here. We can talk a little bit about that. We'll see what, you know, see what I got time for. <laughs> There's lots to talk about. You know, tomorrow, Mercury uh, uh, conjuncts, uh, no, it squares Uranus and conjuncts Pluto. Yeah, that's on Wednesday, day before Christmas. It's like, Merry Christmas, folks. Oh, my goodness. It's an intense one, really, because the sun is somewhat conjunct Pluto. You know, it's coming closer and closer. That square's at 7 degrees. Pluto is at 11, 12 degrees. So it's pretty darn close. It's, uh, the sun is not exactly conjunct Pluto until January 3rd. But, like I say, it's close enough to call it good. And what else? You know, the moon, the square moon is conjunct Uranus and square Pluto. Yeah, on Saturday and Sunday. It's a pretty intense weekend. All right, well, I'm going to find a little spot to settle down here. It's enough astrology, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, well, forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Jeez, it's the holidays, man. <laughs> what are you going to do? Holidays are holidays. It's family time, and this happens every year, you know. Whether it's Hanukkah, whether it's Christmas, it doesn't really matter. You know, I mean, these man-made religions, human-made religions, stole, yeah, the winter solstice. The solstice point of zero degrees Capricorn has been here, okay, as long as the relationship between the earth and the sun has been here. And then these religions come along and throw trees and Santa Clauses and candles and oils and all this kind of stuff on it. But the fact of the matter is, in the natural cycle of things, 
this is a turning point of the seasons. And at this turning point of the seasons, the Sun and now Pluto, Venus and Mercury are also in Capricorn. And this has to do with our mask, our persona, our reputation. It's how we are seen in the world. It's our office and our duty to look good, to stand up straight, to be tall. Yeah, to do our duties to the family, show up, okay, at the dinners and at the events and at the gatherings and things like that. So this time of year, whether it was Christmas or Hanukkah or any other, you know, see, it would still be a time is what I'm saying. Holidays or no holidays, this is a time for us to reflect. Capricorn and Saturn have to do with reflection, going inward, and reflecting on also what? The polarity point is cancer. Our feelings, our past, our childhood, our family, our roots, where we're coming from, this is a time. And the holidays only serve to do it more for us, whether it's because there's, you know, too many people shopping at the store, <laughs> you know, or, you know, too many brothers or sisters or family members that you'd rather not see or talk to. Or, you know, these situations just get us into uncomfortable binds. And it has an intention. Pluto moving through Capricorn, particularly now, has an evolutionary intention. And so we really want to get down beneath, you know, this angst, this stress, this tension. We've got this Uranus square Pluto going on now. It's not going away because it's a holiday. It can be hard to be smiling these days. It can be hard to be laughing these days. It can be hard to really be owning all of the erupting feelings of regret, of grief, of loss. This is really a time where we are going through major, hum human consciousness is going through a major shift and it involves letting go of a lot. And the natural human feeling for letting go is of loss of, and having loss is grief. And we're all carrying a lot of grief and Saturn and Capricorn deals with grief and our lungs deal with grief. Yeah, smokers and people that have, you know, lung issues and lung problems, that's grief. These are the sensitive people, yeah, that have lost a lot and are, and are grieving but don't want to feel the grief and don't want to feel the loss and this is where we get into problems health problems emotional problems mental problems is when we don't feel our feelings and we continue on with the mask we continue to smile when we don't feel like smiling and we laugh when we don't feel like laughing and we create this false persona this false reality and you just can't pull it off anymore. This Uranus moving through Aries is like shocking, kicking us, you know, waking us up to our instincts, Aries, our instincts, our animal self, what we are like feeling right here, right now in this moment. Aries is anger, it's desire. This stuff has to like wake, it's, it's like waking us up. So we're getting lots of kicks. <laughs> You know, life is kicking us, shocking us. It's the taser tag, you know, and it's going to be natural. I just want to, you know, encourage you to flow with the feelings and they call them negative emotions. Well, you know, the, the light and the dark, the positive and the negative, these are polarities that need each other to exist. And the lower you go, the deeper you go into your own self and into your own feelings and into where you are right now in this moment, the more available you will ultimately be and the more capable you will ultimately be of absolutely merging and having orgasmic, ecstatic relationship experiences outside yourself. But when we don't want to go in all the way, then we don't really know what we need or who we are or what our essential core self is. So obviously our relationships are more superficial. 
and they're, they're going on the surface, and then we don't feel fulfillment or real a sense of connection with the outer. But it's because we're, out of, we're not totally connected with our inner. You may want to look at that. I, you know, I get a lot of people that are feeling disconnected, you know, like I don't belong here and I'm not connected. Well, how connected are you with yourself, with your human emotional needs? So this is a time of really looking at this kind of a thing in the holidays and life, capital L, is showing us, helping us, teaching us, yeah, how to do that in a more awakened fashion. <laughs> So, you know, when I, the other aspect that, you know, that this, this just really brings up, yeah, is this Mars in Aquarius coming into this opposition with Jupiter and this moon in Aquarius on Christmas Day. Aquarius is very non-attached. It's an air sign. It's the head on a stick. It's intellectual. It's the computer. It's the geek. This is not going to be a warmy, fuzzy, cozy, snoozy, luscious, juicy kind of holiday season. <laughs> yeah, we got four planets in Capricorn with Mars in Aquarius and, you know, and the moon in Aquarius. Yeah, like I spoke before, you know, these last three signs, Capricorn through Pisces. Yeah, you know, it's very least personal signs and houses. So, what it does allow for, what it does do is, and this is really part of it, it's like, you know what, we all are in this place, this time now, as I see it, of instead of reaching in the horizontal for money, security, a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning, and looking for relationships to fill me and feed me and hold me and support me, can't, can't go there. We've got Uranus in Aries. Pluto in Capricorn says, you know what? Vertical access, be your own support, and let Gaia, the core of the earth, the spiritual mother, support you from below and stand straight and tall, yes, to Father Sun, Father Sky, Uranus. Newt over in Egypt is actually a woman but we're not going to go there. <laughs> and do the vertical. Yeah. So it's, and, and, and then if you're doing your work and you're processing and you're feeling your feelings, and that's the other danger with Mars and the moon in Aquarius is to get lost in the head and lost in the future. And all I can say is the head, the thinking, my intellect never knows I can think, I know. I have ideals. I think that I'm a light worker and that I'm all about love and sweetness and unity and oneness. I think this, this is my ego identity. And then you piss me off. <laughs> and I have these emotions and these feelings that don't fit <laughs> who I think I am. That's where the tendency comes to ignore deny, avoid, suppress. Oh, that's not me. Oh, that's not nice. I'm a nice person. I, I've got these unnice feelings or desires or needs or wants. But it's, this is the thing. If you want to know yourself, you feel your feelings because your feelings know. I, I, I know what I'm feeling. Now, when I know what I'm feeling, it's like my feelings is my truth of where I am right here and now. And you've got to get to that starting point of where you are now before you can get anywhere near the ideal that you want to be. So we can live in the future. We can live in the ideals of Aquarius, Mars, Moon, and Aquarius and fool ourselves yeah, delude ourselves into thinking, oh yeah, da 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 da, and that will that feeling will just go away. Oh, that desire is not important. Oh, that da 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 da. But every time we do that, we get a little farther and farther and farther away from the shore of our true self. 
So, the mantra, very simple, this one is, <laughs> it's okay for me to feel whatever rises within. It's when I distract, deny, or suppress that the trouble will soon begin. And by trouble, I'm talking about health. I'm talking about this pyro, you know, Chiron, Neptune in Pisces, Black Moon Lilith in Virgo now coming up to oppose Neptune. This is the axis, the health axis. We're talking stomach problems, we're talking ulcers, we're talking heart attacks, we're talking, when we suppress, we get more anxious, we get more stressed out, we, uh, you know, we, it's not good. It's just not healthy. That's what I mean by trouble. <laughs> and not to mention, uh, obviously, the, you know, the emotional challenges and of course the mental instability that happens when you, you know, are out of touch with yourself. You go nuts. <laughs> oh man. One more time for the record. It's okay for me to feel whatever rises within. It's when I distract, deny, or suppress that the trouble will soon begin. Let it out, let it rip. All this stuff that you're getting triggered, we're gonna be triggered all through this time now at the dinner table, you know, it's a nice happy time, everybody's smiling, but I'm sorry, it's like, you know what, bam. Be, be in integrity, be authentic, speak your truth, and it's gonna serve everybody better in the long run. Namaste, aloha, so much love. Talk at you later.